welcome back welcome to another vlog i'm starting this a few days early actually because i know on the day we go i'm not going to feel like talking and filming because we've got quite an early start we are off to newcastle myself and my best friend izzy we're going for a few um different reasons well we've decided to go now for a few different reasons but we can talk about that later but we got Oh my gosh, we got a really good deal with the hotel and the trains. So we're very much living outside of our means. We've got first class train tickets and we are staying at the Hampton by Hilton Hotel. So this is very, very exciting. We got such a good deal on it and I'm really, really looking forward to it. So let's go, shall we? Okay, it's Tuesday. We are up. We are alive. We are almost ready to go. I'm documenting this because it has just kind of occurred to me that we're actually going and i haven't done the train with a power chair for a very long time so it could be interesting seeing how this goes but apparently york station's had a bit of a glow up so i'm remaining optimistic We've just got to the hotel. We're staying in the Hampton by Hilton. That's what it's called, right? Yeah. Yeah, we got a really good deal on this. It's not even two minutes away from the train station, so it's really easy to get to. It's only 11 o'clock, but they've let us have a really, really, really early check-in and the room is very nice, so I'm gonna show you. But we've got two lovely beds. We've got a nice bathroom. We've got plenty of... Oh, a surprise cupboard. Oh my God, we've got ironing. Oh, okay, or oh, Izzy's new... That's where Izzy's gonna be sleeping tonight. Sweet dreams. Very nice bathroom. This isn't an accessible room because um, other than it being wheelchair accessible, that's all I need really. So it's just a really, really nice room. I will show you the view. We're on the fourth floor. That's the train station there. That's how close it is. So it's ideal really. You can't miss it. Even we didn't miss it and that's saying something. So it's all very nice. The only thing I will say is that the lift is a little bit scary. If you had a power chair slash manual chair, I think bigger than yours would really, you'd have to do a good 83 point turn to get in and out. Izzy's just mentioned as well and it reminded me they did at the reception they were really lovely and they did really thorough fire evacuation plan which we don't think we do that often usually it's a case of you go in and they say if there's a fire can you get out and you say yes. I've never done one that thorough before which is a good thing it's a good thing. Yeah it shows that they take responsibility for the safety yeah. of their guests you know. So that's good. Oh tea! We've had a very like tea centric sort of experience today. Okay, we're ready to go. We're ready to go. We Ooh. are off. Oh, I'm so excited for this. We're off to somewhere called Seven Stories, which to the best of my knowledge is a museum that's dedicated to children's books. So it's all things bookish. It looks really cool from what I've seen online, but we don't know too much about it. So we're gonna have a walk in that direction. Um, there's a place there called Ernest Cafe, which we think is a vegan cafe. So maybe go, <laughs> Izzy's giving me a thumbs up. <laughs> Don't know why you needed to know that. <laughs> so we're going to try and go there after. to put a positive spin on a bit of a nightmarish access situation we set off for seven stories and we're now here we finally got here when i tell you we had to take a half hour detour because we couldn't find an accessible route with the wheelchair that is no exaggeration because of one flight of stairs we had to go 30 minutes out of the way to get around and get onto where we needed to go like even like the drop curbs have been too high for the wheelchair to get up so anyway we've we've seen we've done a very nice walking tour of newcastle we've got here now we went and had some lunch first that wasn't the plan but we went to Ernest, and it was really really good would you recommend it oh 100 it was really really nice <laughs> We're at seven stories. I'm very excited. I hope it's been worth it. And let's go. Welcome, visitor. 
beach. Oh my god, this is actually like getting me in the feels. <laughs> Hands up when the synopsis is complying. <laughs> That's what I've been taught by deputies at school always blindly comply with authority. I like that, hands up and listen up. We've just realised that Izzy is kind of cosplaying as the worst witch today, so all of this just, it just makes sense. I said I'm a black cat away from being burned at the stake at this point. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's not wrong. She's not wrong. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I think it's time to leave. <laughs> We've, this is why the place is called Seven Stories. It's regarding how there seems to only be seven types of stories. So we're having a bit of um, we're having a bit of a disagreement with the, some of the places where things have been put here, which is slightly confusing you a bit, isn't it? Oh, she's preoccupied. <laughs> I've got that exact edition on my wish list. Oh my god, that's beautiful. <laughs> of course, she's in the castle. <laughs> For God's sake. <laughs> Accessible. There's only one way to find. Actually, no, that's really not a good idea. I'm not going to do that. I saw push and flush away, and I thought it was going to say your feelings. In which case, I'd have been like, ah. <laughs> push and flush away your fears. Oh, is he? Why? <laughs> Go on, do some shadow work. Is this a pony? <laughs> this is what's happened absolutely everywhere. We've changed routes about four times now and every time we think we've got there, something else comes up and there's no, there's no way around it. We're gonna level with you. Some time has now passed. We had a situation where the battery on the power chair, on my phone and on my self <laughs> just plummeted. Um, we tried to get an access taxi to get back to the hotel. We couldn't get any accessible taxis anywhere. We got lost on the way home. Well, we didn't get lost. We just had more access situations, didn't we? Oh, we can't get off this curb. We can't get off that curb. It was a logistical nightmare, but we got back. We've had a rest. I'm now working on reviving myself and then it'll be time for evening plans. So I thought this would be a prime opportunity to wear a nice dress because how often do I have the opportunity to wear a nice dress? I thought, oh yeah, take that dress that I really like and I never get to wear. We've encountered a bit of a problem. And then this happened. <laughs> Why do we always do this? Because we have like three nice frocks. <laughs> I just look like I'm doing some sort of Zoom job interview, actually. There are so many things we could do in Newcastle in the evening. There were so many things that we would have done, but we purposefully came on a Tuesday because we knew it would be less busy, but all of the evening things are shut on a Tuesday. So it's so frustrating. There's the Boulevard, which we've been to before, which is the drag show. There's this really cool 1920s themed bar. Um, there was loads of stuff and it was all closed on a Tuesday, but it's okay. We are going to go to Mr. Mulligan's, which is Adventure Golf. Uh, my friend Emily recommended this because apparently it's very wheelchair friendly. Maybe a bit better than the one we did in York, which was technically wheelchair accessible, but also not. not. Yeah. <laughs> um, so looking forward to that. And then we're going to go and get something to eat. Um, we've slightly changed our plans. We were going to go down to the quayside and eat there, but we've had such a nightmare with access that we're probably just going to go somewhere a bit easier nearer the golf. So that's ow. <laughs> that's the evening plans. I'm going to go and have a painkiller now, and um, off we go. <laughs> and just when you think the look couldn't get any better, we've got the massive puffer coat. I'm such a style inspiration. I know. I've got a backpack as well. <laughs> Stressful, like getting in and out of the power chair, finding the holes, having people in front and behind, and feeling like you have to rush. Most importantly, prioritizing the drinks. Where are the drinks at all times? Of course. I forgot How the most. have you managed to score the exact same? Because I am magical. We forgot to say that we both got a hole in one. I got a hole in one on the very first one. You got a hole in one on the very last one. So we are essentially pros. pros. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the update. <laughs> 
Good morning, happy Wednesday. I've not had a lot of caffeine yet, so I'm not quite there yet, but bear with me. I actually can't do my hair and multitask, it's terrible. Today we're eating breakfast. Yes, we are going to go and have a nice complimentary buffet breakfast, which we're both very excited for. Yes. We're going to go to Granger Market, hopefully, have a wander around that area, and yes. then... <laughs> And then this, okay, you don't have to, you do that all you want. I'm also laughing at my appearance because I can't believe I'm going to put myself on the internet looking like this. And then after we have tickets to the Life Museum, which I'm really excited for. I'm going to tell you a story that absolutely nobody asked for. And I'd be surprised if anybody watching this was around when this was happening because it would have been about 2015. It was during one of my summers at university and I was doing an internship and I basically stayed up in Newcastle in student accommodation for either eight weeks or 10 weeks. And during that time, my health was an absolute mess. So I was in this new city, it was a really cool opportunity and there were all of these things I wanted to do and I just didn't feel well enough to do them. And one of them was the Life Museum. So we're finally doing that today. But it's a bit weird, like we were out last night and we were going to all these different places. And it's funny how just seeing one thing and it can just immediately take you back to that point in time. Do you remember that? Do you remember like, I feel like we've had this conversation, like, I was not in a good way when you I was well. It was no, it was like I was managing, but I really wasn't doing well. So the fact that, and like, don't get me wrong, I'm still not exactly thriving now, especially not this morning. But it is funny to think that a lot has changed since then. It's bonkers. Like things have changed for the better, thank goodness. So I'm just trying to, yeah, it's weird. Uh, that was a whole tangent. The point is, it's nice to be here and to be doing some of the things that I wasn't well enough to do back then. That feels quite special, actually. And I always wanted to do the Life Museum. No idea what's there, but we're going to do that today. <laughs> visual representation of the allergy life this is what izzy's got and this is what i've got <laughs> just had quite a weird experience at breakfast every buffet takes extra admin when you have food allergies but it was a bit of a weird situation today where they after some chasing up they i found out what the allergens were but they then came around and they had to fill out this little card um to put on the table which made no sense because nobody was serving you the food and nobody was coming to the table so once it was on the table who was it designed for? Who was going to see it? On the buffet things, there's no, um, this contains this, this contains this. It's just yes. the sausage. Right. If I was Prime Minister, I've said this multiple times, never on the internet, but I will say it yeah. now. If they just, buffets, they all have little signs which tell you what each food is. If they just put the allergens or, ingre or ingredients on that little sign, it would save the staff's time, it would save the people's time, it would save a heck of a lot of admin. So, hotel industry because I'm sure they all watch these vlogs. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the change. That's the change we need. appreciate that. Uh, we have made it to the Life Museum, we've had a nice little wander, kind of been shopping but not really bought anything because we can't carry it home. We went in Waterstones, didn't buy any books so there's been some real personal growth going on there. Um, we are a little bit early for our Life Museum slot so we've just come for a drink and a recharge and a sit down but yeah looking forward to it, Life Museum next. That has just blown my tiny mind. I found my calling. Stand in the footprints. Where's the footprint? There. Oh, oh no, I'm ready. <laughs> A storm cell hit the west coast of Ireland early this morning, drenching coastal towns and flooding low-lying areas. Oh, you're here! Sheltered on the east coast! What? What's happening? Don't put your money to There's another storm on the way. This time approaching from the east coast. Oh, yeah. I think she's found a happy place. busy at the minute either so like you don't feel rushed you can just take your time it's very cool don't let me interrupt Izzy she's just making a phone call over here at the fake 
phone booth. My brain's going now, I don't know if you can tell. Why is this relatable? So the only slight error in judgement I've made here is that it's a very interactive museum and it's really cool and you can join in with all of the stuff. But I'm doing this on quite, not a really low energy day, but my energy isn't where I'd quite like it to be. So I feel like I'm not making the most of it and I feel really guilty because I've paid to come in and I want to make the most of the experience, but I'm struggling a little bit. We keep it real around here. <laughs> Life is good. Completely forgot I was vlogging, so <laughs> I haven't vlogged anything. We've done this afternoon. What have we even done? We've had a very chill one. We've just been moving we went around. To... We had food. No, we finished the museum. Yes. We had food. Yes. We did a little bit of shopping. We did. We are now aimlessly waiting for about 15 minutes for our train. We just concluded our 24 hours in Newcastle. It's literally been like just, just over. over. Yeah just over 24 hours. I can't work out in my head how long it's been. I'm no. not good at mental arithmetic. Yeah. Highlights? Ernest. That was amazing. Oh. Definitely recommend Ernest. 10 out of 10. Yeah. So good. And it's really near if you are going to go to Seven Stories, which was probably my favourite bit. It's not, mm. it's like five minutes away from there. So that's a really good shout. Um, there's nothing we did that I didn't enjoy. No. No. But everything was good. Golf was good. <laughs> I can't leave that in. <laughs> no, you can't. I'll never get a job. <laughs> I'll have cut out what just happened. She did accidentally hit me in the face. <laughs> What's new? This has happened multiple times now. Oh gosh, it has, hasn't it? Yeah. Say bye to the nice people. Bye to the nice people. Hey. goodness me that was an absolute nightmare three buses didn't show up from the station got absolutely drenched izzy got home to doncaster quicker than i got out of york station but i'm home now made a friend at the bus stop actually so we've just shared a taxi home and i've got a nice new friend out of it so everything's fine it was funny being back in newcastle because in my mind all I can remember of Newcastle is from a time when I, my health was in an absolute mess and I was just in bed and it was just, it was a bit of a miserable time and I remember thinking how frustrating it is that I'm in Newcastle, all of these new things and I'm not well enough to do any of it. I remember getting to Eldon Square on one of my weekends for a milkshake. <laughs> It felt like such a big win because I really, I sometimes forget that I really wasn't well. I mean, I'm still not exactly thriving now, look at me, but I, I it was like a whole different level of unwellness. So being in Eldon Square today, whizzing around on my power chair with my best friend, it's like, obviously things still aren't great now. And you've seen how the whole trip has to be adapted, not just for accessibility purposes, but because of my health and it has ebbs and flows and all that shenanigans you know how it goes it's nice to think that that which was once my reality and that i thought was going to be my reality seems quite a long way away from where i am now so i just thought i'd put that in if that makes any kind of sense because it did make me smile um <laughs> yeah we're doing all right we're doing okay so i'm probably gonna spend the next few days horizontally recovering but I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. You can subscribe if you want and I will see you next time.